Alright, that is going live. <coughs> Sorry. Just give us a second and we'll get set up here. I'll just try and get a hold of the, the stream and then we'll... Uh, well, it's just a wee one. Should I tweet it out? Aye. If I can get a hold of it. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely music. Sorry, I'll let you know when I've got there we go, that's it. Alright, so I think that's me in. Just test this, is it live? Test, 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 test. Is there any audio coming for that at all? That sounds alright then. Alright, so <laughs> let's go. So last night we were up to near the end of episode one actually on the plane. We'd spoke to Big Roland. Um and we were talking to Philip and we've got one bit of evidence still to get. We were gonna do a quiz. I think we were gonna do a quiz. Pretty sure that's what was happening. <laughs> you cannot fault her, answered the quiz, actually. You got all the questions right, the beginner quiz. So let me see. I hope this is my last save point I was at. Just give it a try. That's right, I, the two of them have disappeared. John, going to do something be here later. No bother. Cheers for uh, tuning in, Gribbles. Good to see you. <laughs> it's nice to see you, man. Thanks for that. So I'm going to do a wee bit more of uh, D4. Hopefully this loads up the right save point. Because yesterday I thought I had deleted all my save data for this, but I forgot that you can add to it when you replay levels. Oh, this doesn't look good. Eh? The kitchen investigate the laptop. Why is the laptop here? Why is the laptop here? Murder. 
murders related to real blood. Why does he even bother with a password? Hmm? He's using geographical profiling. BPD, a hockey rink, Diana's cafe, the Oldman Clinical Research Lab, this apartment, and the house little Peggy grew up in. Teddy. Just what the hell are you investigating? Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Oh, I think they're away. No idea why it's wagging everybody, really sorry about that. Uh, it's about with my control, unfortunately. Morning, little Peggy. <laughs> Good morning, David. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. Tell me, how's the case going? The mementos are all gone. What? How'd that happen? Someone attacked me. What kind of attack? Felt like electricity. A stun gun or something. Knocked me right out. <sighs> so we're back to square one. No. I do have this. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What it looks like is a lens from some sunglasses. And what does that mean? Tell me, Teddy. Do federal marshals use stun guns? Hmm. At their discretion, maybe. <laughs> but why would Derek Buchanan use one? That muscle-bound, hard-headed old schooler. I don't know. Must have been an on-the-spot kind of thing. Hmm. Changing the subject, Teddy. Can I ask you something? Did someone come here last night? 
What makes you think that? Amanda's sleeping on top of the TV. She's shy around new people. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, someone did. Uh, just an informant for a, a case I'm working on. Don't make that face, David. Uh, I'm sorry for calling him here, all right? Uh, for forgive me, all right? Huh? Oh, yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Right now, you need to concentrate on the case of the Vanishing Courier. This one is linked to D. That's what my gut tells me. My detective gut. Not my beer one. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Really appreciate it. So we're going to go play a wee bit more D4. anything Any Sorry, I was trying to talk to uh, Forest. Just wasted energy doing the same stuff. These two hamburgers, come here. David, investigation 101. Go back to the beginning and look over all the evidence again. You might even find a new memento. Pause. I can throw something together if you like. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I'll give you my very best today. with Diana. Oh. Mm. Why are you asking me that? Hey, you've hardly touched your meal. <sighs> you know how it is. Same old, same old. Mm. Something more serious than clam chowder this time? This one's a bit different. It'll be okay, David, right? Things just got a little bit complicated right now. It'll work itself out. It will? Yeah, it, it will. Still, I can't help but feel that all you two ever do is fight. You never even seem to entertain the notion of splitting up. <laughs> You've got quite a strange relationship. <laughs> well, I may have met her here. But we're both from New York originally. We think alike, you know? <laughs> so, then why all the fights? I guess it's probably my fault. <sighs> Take, if you will, this hot dog. What's this Frank made from, huh? Pork, right? That's right. Ah. <laughs> Here in Boston, when you say hot dog, people think pork. <laughs> but in New York, it's all about beef. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> for Diana, even hot dogs mean beef. 
She doesn't like that you eat pork hot dogs. She thinks I've forsaken my hometown. She can't forgive me for that, so she gets all tough on me. So she loves you, but she also loves her hometown just as much. Yeah. Will I ever be able to win out against the Big Apple? God only knows. You said it. Aye, good, 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 good. Alright, so just get on with it, see if we can find this other memento. I'm back, what's going on? Sorry, I just seen that gribbles. How long's that been there? <laughs> it's a bit more D4. I'll probably just play the whole thing, uh, but not not tonight, but uh, over the course of the next few days, I think, I'll just play the next. How you doing anyway? What you been up to? You had a, a good weekend so far? Saturday night shoes. <laughs> D4 is this game that we're playing right now. It's Dark Dreams Don't Die uh, on the Xbox One. It's sort of like a Telltale game's sort of point and click. Um, it's by a very cool guy called uh, Sweary and by a company called Access Games. That's pretty cool. The first on the scene was Dr. August Oldman, the man who raised little Peggy. The shock was so great. It turned his hair white overnight. According to his testimony, by the time he found Peggy, I wasn't there anymore. As luck would have it, someone had already taken me to the hospital and stuck me in the ICU. After recovering and returning home, I found him there. How did it come to this? <laughs> David Young, do you think the past can be changed? At that moment, all I could do was stand there. But now... No man, it didn't copy Telltale. <laughs> Point and click's been been around for a while, um, but no, this is this is a very cool game. I really like it. I really like the story. Uh, a lot of memorable characters in that. Very very good. You hear about David? Seems he has no memory of the night of the incident. According to his statement, the only thing he does remember are the final words of the victim. What did she say? Look for D. D? 
Bet you it's D for David. I really, I think the art style in this, this is controversial, right, but I think the art style in this looks a wee bit better than, um, I really love Telltale's style, but I think this looks a lot, um, a lot nicer somehow. But this definitely seems more like, uh... David, Investigation 101. Go back to the beginning and look over all the evidence again. You might even find a new memento. <laughs> so the DEA was also protecting the courier? Yeah, you could say that. I thought as much. So why didn't you tell me? I wasn't hiding it. Just thought too much information at once might confuse you. Teddy, you gotta be kidding me. I got a gun shoved in my face, thanks to your little omission. Do you know the name of the agent they were using? I can find out, sure. For now, I only know that there are... One is Olivia Jones. She had a gun, so there's no question about her. That leaves one more. You can find them on your own, right? I've already got a solid hunch. Just how in the loop is the BPD anyway? Enough to carry out a joint investigation. Let's leave it at that. But you don't even know the agents' names. That's for their own protection. I don't need to tell you that undercover work is life and death stuff. Who wouldn't want to keep their names hidden, huh? That's a good question. Who wouldn't they want to keep their names hidden? <laughs> Cheers for tuning everybody. Thank you very much. Have you been investigating the link between real blood and the murder cases? Yeah, uh, something caught my attention. Isn't that homicide's job? No, it's all narcotics. Is it related to this case? Maybe in the big picture. But you don't need to worry about that now. J just concentrate on the missing courier. Peggy's case is also connected to real blood. Who knows? Listen, David, new cases happen every day. Which cases are connected to each other and how? We spend every waking moment of our lives trying to figure out that stuff. Don't hurry to an answer. The truth isn't going to run away. If you had a special power, a gift, would you want to change the past? <sighs> You know, for everything I want to change, there's something else in my past that I couldn't bear to lose. All you can do is accept the past and move on. But what if it's too hard to accept? Even if you managed to change that one little bit, it wouldn't be enough to change your life. All you can do now is accept the past. That's why you need to find the courier's evidence. That's how you'll resolve your past. And I'll do whatever I can to help you. When I was attacked, Derek Buchanan was the only one on the plane wearing sunglasses. We had a little encounter prior to that as well. I was also close to his seat when I was attacked. Hmm. Sounds like the marshal is the one who attacked you then. Mm, maybe, but it still doesn't make sense to me. He was killed in the line of duty. Hmm. He may have been involved in something really bad. The Marshal's name starts with a D. Even more suspicious. But let's say he is the boss behind real blood. Why would he go out of his way to make contact with Zapatero then? I don't know. If he wanted to shut him up, he could just send out someone else. What if he didn't want anyone else to see the courier's evidence? Or maybe he wanted to execute the guy himself for some reason. I mean, it sounds plausible to me. I still not got bots yet, Gribbles. <laughs> I'll get them one day, I'll get them one day. 
execute the guy himself. Teddy. Why would he want to do that? I don't know. What if it was you? <laughs> Me? Revenge. That's the only thing I couldn't trust to anyone else. Revenge? Hmm. Yeah, certainly a possibility. But there were no past points of contact between the Marshal and the Courier. That reminds me. The Marshal had a picture of his family. What, uh... What's so special about that? You said all his belongings were unclaimed and set to be disposed of. That's how I was able to get my hands on his badge. Oh, right. Mm, yeah, I'd, I'd have to investigate a bit more. But maybe he's estranged from his family for some reason. Hmm. The electricity that shocked me felt a little different from a stun gun. What do you mean? I never felt the electrodes. When I was hit by a stun gun in training, I remember feeling the electrodes first. I didn't feel anything back there. It was as though the electricity in the air came alive and struck me. This all happened in a split second, right? <laughs> you sure you aren't uh, overanalyzing this? Nah. How you doing, Gravels? I'm sorry. Oh, Your John, you're streaming start. tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll try and stream about... 7.30 GMT. Uh, we'll do a good couple hours of this, I think. A couple more yeah. hours. Really digging D4. It's good playing through it again. Don't know what's happening with my save data though, I think I've made a mess somewhere. It's jumping between files. I tried to delete it to start a new one, but it must be on the cloud or something. Don't knock it until you've tried it. <laughs> a squirrel up there, did you see that in the window there? Wah! Wah! Gravels, this is amazing! This game, just wait, just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> Eat sweets when you do work that requires brain power. You know, liking the fortune cookies and drinking the coffee, you know? Hey, Amanda, where'd that ball come from? <coughs> Ah, I see, I see. What were you out? Out partying? Wait, was that not a school night, Gribbles? Was that not a school night? Or hey, did you just not Amanda, sleep well? Where'd that ball come from? Maybe I, should, maybe I should push her to get the ball off her, actually. <gasps> oh! 
Oh. Amanda. Be a good girl and hand that over. Give it back. Come on. Such a shame something went away just before that but... Ow. Oh, ow, ow. You can't hide from me. Hey, ooh, that tickles. What? <laughs> Enough soul. That's it. Good girl. Just stay still. Uh huh. Destroy the entire house. You could help out, you know. Yes, gotcha. Now, Teddy. This is the end, Amanda. Give me the ball. David, no. I don't think so! Ugh. Teddy, this is a memento. A memento? The baseball? How come? How the hell did that get in among the evidence anyway? Because... I got involved in its past. I changed this ball into a memento. Maybe... I really can change the past. David... We're restarting this investigation. I've made the connection, little Peggy. Right, so we got our memento. We finally got it. So yeah, you were... It was... Up until 12.30 and go up early, aye, that would get you tired, right? That would get you tired. the achievements now. I don't know why. Oh, because I got through that stunt scene a bit better than usual. I'll maybe eat something in that the now before we go. David, looking after yourself is part of your job. <laughs> I got a memento. So with these mementos you can dive back into the past look for things. It's quite complicated. <laughs> David, are you pulling my leg? You just ate. Hey, right, kill, we can't convince him to make us another dinner because we did just eat. Yeah, but we're hungry again. We need food. We better get to the fridge. Here. And go in and eat. Big bean. 
good. That'll do. It's the right real life. Tired to focus and be watching tomorrow, John. No bother. Cheers for tuning in again, Gribbles. Really appreciate it, man. Take care. Bye, man. Some nice things for the friendship up. We got a bready chicken. It's the friendship up by miles. I will get that. Right, some boiled chicken or some yarn. What do we get? Oh, we got a wee dance. Weird, I deleted my saves for this. This man's went weird, so I'm just gonna save it again. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Very much appreciated.
You can't change the past. Facing the past changes your perception of it. This memento, <laughs> it's the same. You didn't change the past. Just how you perceive Eddie, it. Eddie, you always help me out. Thanks, partner. Hey, David! Uh, Teddy, I'm sorry. No matter what you say, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna find Dee and save her life. That's why I need the courier's evidence. Olivia. Uh, um. So, we're below the seats now. Blood stains? What happened after the lightning strike? Huh. Olivia. Don't move. How did you get down here? Just who the hell are you? I'm a private detective. David Young. Formerly a detective with the BPD. I used to wear a badge too. You think I'll buy that? <laughs> That's up to you. Marshal's moving the courier. And we need to get up there. I said don't move. I'm leaving. Move back again and I'll shoot. No, you won't. I can't let you go. There's something I have to do. Oh, oh. Ah! I'll share my shoulder, if you'll share your radio and gun. A temporary ceasefire. Can I trust you? Like I said, that's up to you. This is the space below the passenger seating. If we move between the luggage, we'll be able to reach below the cockpit. Now let's hurry and catch up to them. Thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, again, on Friday night. I don't have time for this right now. I don't know why it keeps wagging by the way, that's it's really weird. Don't know if it's something to do with the new update or if I need to phone my internet service provider. Maybe both.
That should do it. Always good to put a lid on dangerous things. Expensive tequila. <laughs> Just like some expensive tequila in our suitcase. Looking closely, the differences become quite clear. But she still bears a strong resemblance to little Peggy. Uh, is something the matter? Well, let's just keep moving. How can this thing be flying? <sighs> that should do it. Always good to put a lid on dangerous things. <sighs> it won't open. Somehow. Why would the Marshal take Antonio Zapatero hostage? I have no idea. You're one to talk anyway. Seems like you'll do just about anything for your investigation. Are you really just a private detective? I'm going after the courier. At the request of the BPD. The BPD? Your people asked for the cooperation. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant, will ask. Huh?
It's no good. Can't get it open. Okay, we've got to find the flashlight. Very well. Let's do that. Found it. The flashlight bulb. <laughs> Found it! This tube must be the body of the flashlight. We found the flashlight, but still no batteries. They might have rolled back behind all the junk in here. <sighs> then we'll never find them. Let's look for something we can use instead. Yes, okay. What's the matter with him? He just wiped blood off the wall and put it in his mouth. David Young. That's odd. That's it. The radio. The radio runs on batteries. David. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
What do you think I am? Your girlfriend? like the power has been restored to this section. Olivia, why is the DEA going after real blood? There are plenty of other drugs causing issues on a national scale. You're right. There are many other drugs we need to go after. But somehow, real blood feels different from those. It feels more twisted. More dangerous than something just being used as a source of income. We've found a lot of strange corpses and in incidents related to real blood. People with all their skin reversed, drowned in the absence of water. Or oh, bodies with all the blood removed from their body. You know something about real blood, don't you? Maybe. Hmm. Aye <laughs> man, that's what D4 does to you. It's a chilled out game. It's not really. Cheers for tuning in, man. I am. It's weird. I've realised that when I'm playing point and click games, I get too far too um, introspective. Is that the right word? <laughs> There's not been much love for this uh, for this game. I think I should maybe be playing this in my private time. <laughs> I was thinking that. Every time people, <laughs> people who follow us tune in, they're like, Oh, you still playing D4? No, I'm, I'm not going to watch you play this. <laughs> uh, I that burger there that I can't see, actually. You know what, we'll talk to the cat. We'll buy some, buy some food off of this cat, right? Uh, we'll buy some baked beans, probably. Some baked beans. This is D4. You're watching D4. Everybody asks that. <laughs> D4 is this right now that's happening in front of your eyes. It's a sort of detective point and click action. It's weird. It's very weird. I'll try and get an action set piece for you so you can see a bit of. Uh, It's amazing. It's by a guy called um, Sweary. And Access Games. How many have I got? 59. I will buy a vegetable sandwich. Will we? I will buy a coffee. It's a coffee biscuit. Yum yum. What's that? 94. I will buy something else. How bad's the lag on this, by the way? I don't know why, but when I use Xbox, I get just nothing but there's a problem with your broadcast constantly. <laughs> Is the lag really poor? What we buy? What else is new down here? We'll buy some jelly beans. From a cat. I got damaged twice back there, so I should probably buy some bandages. Right, and we'll try and get all the clues here, so I can show you one of the action pieces in this game. I think you can get this on Windows now as well.
I'm going to type every message letter by letter and the lag. Oh, the lag's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that's a relief at least. Okay, we'll turn vision mode on. Four pieces of evidence still remain. There's one out there. Looks like those gunshots came from here. The machinery section is through there. Looks like the door is locked. So there was a skirmish here, and then he ran further inside. There's no power. Damn it. <clears throat> Almost got it. Huh? See that guy? See who? What did you see? Things thought. Another D. <laughs> right. Three bits of evidence remain. A shiny gammy. Is it? No, it's not that. Is it? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I was thinking. Solve a puzzle. Live. Live in front of an audience. Something. Move the cable and connect the power lines. So on the other one at the top, don't I? Does that work? Is that connected? back I've got a shot at that again for the beginning because I feel like I just made that much harder than it needed to be. This is uh, it's a good bit. 
glad I'm doing this. This bit just now, live. in six moves. What have I done wrong here? Besides the majority of this puzzle. Uh, right, 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 right. right. Ah, I'm going to jump back out again. This is a nightmare. What does that say? A complex... Complex machine, complicated panel, mountain cables, power transmitter. One of those things where, first time I done this game, I done it. No bother. Maybe the pressure to try to do this live. I'm making a mess of it. I'm gonna try one last time. Six moves, right? Six moves. Cable and connect the power lines. Yes. <laughs> I'm going for that. Right. I don't need no strategy gauge. I just need, I just need three attempts. Why has it been connected? That should restore power to this section. about the identity of that thing back there. But in that case, what's the marshal playing at? Just over two years ago, there was a detective who quit over a real blood murder. Sounds like he was forced out under suspicion of possibly killing his wife. The report also says he was critically injured, including some memory loss. What do you think this former detective is doing now? What's your point? Please. Answer me. I didn't kill her. I knew it was you. You're the detective from that case. And that's why you've muscled in on this one. What are you after? Don't tell me. Revenge? Listen. Back off. I can't let you become any more involved in this. Olivia, wait. Hands up. Don't move. Place your hands behind your head and lie down on the ground. Lie down on the ground, now! Olivia, get your head down! 
Agent Cheney, please respond. Philip! <laughs> oh no. Go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Please, don't do anything stupid. Amazing. Did you see how everyone came out there? <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a game. <laughs> Just like Zach. <laughs> Amazing. Cheers for tuning in. Jay did <laughs> zero eight twenty two. Thanks very much for the chat. Good to see you. <laughs> Just finished building another Panzer. Right, you cannot afford less of that. <laughs> this is one of the greatest games. You you treat this with the reverence it deserves. <laughs> See, yesterday, by the way, when I was playing this, something amazing happened. When I tweeted out that I was playing this, um... What am I doing? I need to hurry up and find the marshal. The guy that... The guy that actually made this game, uh, Retweeted it. And, uh... That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Does how good you are at swiping? Aye, it does. It really does affect the gameplay. High vis vest. Knew it. <laughs> I would. W oh, this guy again. You mind him? You cannot fault her. It's what a character. Big Roland walking. Look at this boy. Yes, I do remember this boy. What have I done? What have I done? Why such a scary face? <laughs> Mr. Young? Let me through here. You really? Look quite dreadful. It reminds me of yes. When you were undercover agent, David Young. 
That's in the past. Hive is best, you know. You don't understand what's going on. That was Ronald walking. Uh, with his knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, this guy's voice. I love things like that. Uh, he's such a memorable character. This game's incredible. Think about what you've just seen. How long have you been in this stream for High Vis Vest? Less than an hour. Think about what you've seen in that. You've seen me buying things off a cat. You've seen me talking to this boy. You've seen me do an action scene. You've seen me solve a puzzle. <laughs> Very badly. Aye, I'd love to be able to talk like that. I'm gonna talk like that if I ever see you out. <laughs> I'm going to talk like that to just freak people out, I think. And if they've played D4, they'll know. Look at that, though. Is that not quite... That's quite interesting, that. <laughs> Solve in the biggest quotation marks. Oh, what a game this is, man. What a game. Just want to make sure big... Uh, make Roland... Uh, Ronald. Is it Roland? Roland or Ronald? It's Roland, isn't it? Aye, Roland. Right, there's a bit of evidence up here, right? We'll get the story moving in. What is that? What is this evidence? He's fatally wounded. Marshal. You were planning this from the beginning, weren't you? Now I have all of the puzzle pieces. Fucking with my fake eye, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping? Send your ass or your head! A man is far more than just his looks. Don't tell him I've understood that. With that That's it. That's what happened. Spit it out. Uh, the name uh, of your boss. Now! That's some serious shit, man. <coughs> Derek Buchanan! <laughs> what do you think? It's up to you. I'll let you choose, right? If you are in the chat, you can say, just type the number, right? And you can decide. There should be enough time. Get on it though, please. Otherwise, I'll just probably choose... Uh... <laughs> oh, he's have made it hard. He's have made it hard, guys. Damn it. I never just said that. You're gonna die here either way. Now I understand everything. The reason you're so focused on real blood cases. And the reason your wife is so much younger than you in that picture. And even the identity of my attacker. You aren't the D I'm chasing. You've been following real blood cases in order to avenge your family. 
Your family was killed by a real blood user, perhaps. So you swore to wipe out an involved blood. Well, Marshal, got it right. You know. More than you'd think. I lost my beloved wife, too. Marshal, listen. Just give up on the revenge. None of this will bring back your family. I, on the other hand, can change the past. Your family might not even have to die. So please, give me that evidence. Don't fuck with me. Don't you fuck with me! Change the past? Who's gonna believe that bullshit? Do you have any idea how much I've suffered over these last ten years? You're just drunk. You have to say anything about my family! I'm not giving him up. Or the evidence. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. Marshal, enough! Huh? <laughs> AG Flight 117 to Boston. And a different flight to Washington, D.C. The other D, who was on board both of these flights. You're the one I should have been after. Codename Delta. Philip Cheney! <laughs> must be impressed with what you've seen there. You must. There's no way. There's no way that you could have anticipated any of that was going to happen there. No chance. Speechless guys, absolutely speechless. <laughs> oh, alright, the chat stopped working after High Vis Best said too. Sorry. What happened to the bald part? Aye, <laughs> that was weird. That didn't say option three, the computer just went right. It must I don't know if that does that work? Does Twitch is that possible? <laughs> so John always chasing the D. Chat about this. Channel is his. But I'm pressing having story consequences. Yeah, yeah. That's no acceptable behaviour for Big D there. Ah, he didn't say Baldy, that's right. He didn't say Baldy. What a game this is, though. You were my only love. The night is long. The fourth D. But turn face to the sun. It wasn't a cold name, Delta, was it?
access games. They should kickstart the rest of this. They should kickstart the rest of it. Good old sweary. Can you believe he retweeted us yesterday? Over 10,000 tweet views I got. Can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? It's enough to get, get a, a middle-aged boy like me excited. I'll stream all these games now, that's it. Dr. Oldman. That thing we discussed. I've arranged it. Just like you wanted. Be able to meet my expectations. <laughs> uh, don't know bad. Done no bad. Eh, aye. It is, uh, it is episodic, yeah, yeah. This is like season one. Uh, it was supposed to get a physical release in that, but I don't think it ever did. And then season two was supposed to happen. It still might. I would definitely contribute to a Kickstarter if, if they wanted to do it that way. It's just so many memorable characters, there's so much to like about this game. Uh, there is more, but I'll probably need to dive out pretty soon. Excuse me, what? <laughs> what was that epilogue? Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Do you not get it? What's not to get? August, August, old man was talking to you, to, talking to uh, Forrest Kaysen, who was the boy on the the bench. Hi, Viz Vest. You need to get this on your. You've got a PC, haven't you? Get this on your PC. Play through it. I'll do a Kickstarter for it. I say swear he retweeted me and that's all the that's all the incentive I needed. Right, so I kinda want to see what it says now because my I've done a silly thing, right? I'm having to read your chat off of my phone, by the way, if you're wondering why I keep looking away for the screen. <laughs> I don't Oh man. I'm gonna need to we'll, I'll get you in, try, I'll get you in. <laughs> we'll play the D4. Uh, I just want to check the replay episode thing then now really quick. Right, aye. Let me just see what happens when I go to continue, right? Just, just for argument's sake, you know, let's just make sure that my save data isn't completely wrecked. Because something's went wrong with my saves. Aye, John need money Kickstarter, aye, that would, that, I do need that. What, no, I Kickstarter for my content, not at the moment. Right, why is it saying that? It's not put me right back to the beginning, has it? <laughs> David. This is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. <laughs> Aye, it has. Right. Don't know if that's my save data. Cool. <laughs> so that's that's your D4. I'm going to have to find out what I've done. I tried to delete my save data so I could start a new game and things have went very, very odd. 
There is a way where you can get a slightly different uh, endings. Uh, this is going to be unfathomable. <laughs> <laughs> but, cheers everybody for tuning in. <laughs> this is kind of the basic premise of the game kicking off. That's the beginning of it happening right there. Uh, see what I can do with my save date. I've made a mess. The bit you seen was amazing, actually, you can't afford You seen me fighting with, uh, what's his name, Antonio Zapatero, didn't you? Ah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Sweary, man, sweary, you made this. Uh, and Access Games. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but no, I highly recommend that you just play it. Aye, the eyeball guy, mind that? And they, like, total... They flung a baseball at us and they batted it back with Suki's... Mannequin leg. I mean, what a sentence that is. Think about that. Just that one sentence is exciting. I, I, I hope I always play this this game. I really do. Because me trying to foot around my save data to get a proper new game started hasn't really worked out the way I'd hoped. And I've scared a couple of people away there. Aye, how has Vest seen the super exciting watch John solve one of those, you know those wee puzzles you get? You used to get, you cannot follow the ones with the squares that you would move, the wee tile squares games. He saw me do that. Uh, well, he heard me do that. <laughs> and then, when he looked back, I made sure to get his attention so that I could show him one of the action set pieces in this amazing game. You would do this game, scaring folk away. Aye, true. Honestly, see everybody that's came in that follows us, they've all, they've all had, I'm not, I shouldn't say this. <laughs> But they all had bad things. They were all like, oh, this game's rubbish and that. And I'm like, right, listen. <laughs> and then they go away before I get to tell them. I will. I'm going to wear a dress and a hat. No, I won't. I'll wear... I was going to wear my Sith outfit. I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow night now, though. So I kind of did just show you ID 4 I forgot. I thought it was longer than that. I suppose I made hundreds more mistakes the first time I was playing through. I should maybe try and get a different ending. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Uh, but at least you've seen it now. At least you know what it is, and you will never forget it. You'll never forget. Who was your favourite character? Was it all uh, Roland Walken? Is that everybody's favourite character? It must be. It must be. Or was it what's his name? Duncan, Avant Garde. Avant Garde. Hopefully, I'm. <laughs> what are you playing that on? It's not on any consoles. It's been a while since I've played that game. Actually, that's controversial. Thankfully, the chat is in the archives. <laughs> <laughs> I've not played that one, uh, that that game in a while. God damn! I nearly gave the game away there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're out about, if you're out and about uh, tomorrow night, falter. No, I better not say this. This is public, isn't it? This is public. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe see you. Maybe see you if you're out and about in the tune tomorrow. But aye, thank you very much everybody, cheers you cannot falter, high vis vest for tuning in, sticking through all this, uh, I'll stick something else on tomorrow, don't know what yet, don't know what, but we'll see when I see, cheers again though, I'm away to proper way, what was it, what was it you said at the beginning of this, high vis vest, I'm away to have some private game time, although this was pretty... This was pretty private game time, to be honest. <laughs> See you tomorrow, John. Nice one. No problem. Nice one, guys. See you again. Oh, the connect's working. See how quick that was? You see my hand flying about the screen there? Oh, there I wave again. I'm just going to wait for that to catch up. See if you could even see that. Aye, there it was. Oh, that was fast. There it is again. That's well cool. Look at me controlling with my hand. Look at that. Is that cool? Is that no kill? This is the future happening here. The future. I'm the controller now, by the way. I'm the controller. Do a very slow wave, right? We'll do a very slow wave. We'll do inappropriate stuff. No, we will not. No, we will not. See you later. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. That's John's digital hand. That's right. That's right. See you later. Is it back? No, it's away. Bye. <laughs>